Am I the asshole? For insisting my pregnant sister switch bedrooms with me? Throw away cause I don't want it connected to my main. My sister and I both mid 20 SF, I'm a few years older share a house together. It was our parents house and we both inherited it after they died. We have equal share ownership of the house. The house has four bedrooms, one is the master room and has a non-suite and walk-in wardrobe, the others three just have built-in robes. When we both moved back in after deciding that neither of us wanted to sell, we agreed that she could have the master suite, but the two largest of the other bedrooms would both be mine. One as an actual bedroom and the other as a gaming room for me. The last and smallest bedroom is a guest room. Her boyfriend's been living here for a while and she recently told me that she's pregnant. I'm not particularly looking forward to sharing a house with a screaming baby, but it's her house too and she has every right to be here and raise her kid. Obviously, they baby will need a bedroom, and I was expecting that to be the guest room. It is the smallest bedroom in the house, but it's still the same size as a standard bedroom. But my sister wouldn't go for that. She's insisting I move my stuff out of my games room so that can be that baby's room. I told her that I'm not moving my stuff into the guest room, because that wasn't our agreement, but then she informed me that actually, I won't be able to do that either, as we would still need a guest room, especially with the baby coming as her BF's family will want to visit. So I said fine, you can have my games room, if you move into my room and give me the master room. She started crying and said that as a mother, she's going to need her own space and she deserves the master bedroom. I asked what she expected me to do, and she said I should just suck it up and keep all my crap in my own room. We're at an impasse and I can't get her to come to a real agreement with me. She keeps calling me a huge bitch and says that I should let her have both the master bedroom and my gaming room because she needs them or her boyfriend says I should just deal with it, that because I don't want kids anyway, I should just let suck it up. My girlfriend, who also spends a lot of time here, is on my side and says my sister is being a spoiled entitled little brat. Am I the asshole? Edit she can't buy me out, she doesn't have the money. We each got some money along with the house, but she wanted a fancy Range Rover so most of hers went to that and she can't get a loan because she's only working part time at Macca's at the moment. I still have all of my money plus some of my own savings, so I will be having a discussion with her e buying her out. The house is located in a nice expensive area, so what she gets from me for her half will be enough for her to buy an average three bedroom house in a cheaper area. Really really don't want to sell if I can help it as house has been in the family a long time. Sister gets one or the other but not both. Time to either buy out, be bought out, or sell outright. Not the asshole. Not the asshole about giving up your rooms, but I am very doubtful this living situation is going to last. She's doing a slow takeover and it will only get worse especially if she has more kids. Have you ever discussed her buying out your share? Or honestly just selling and getting your own home? Not the asshole. Do not under any circumstances give up your gaming room or else they're going to try and move you out of that house. Tell her to take the guest room and make it an even two bedrooms for each. The boyfriend's family can sleep on the sofa or they can go to a hotel. You own half of the house, not him. Not the asshole. Being pregnant doesn't entitle her to start land grabbing and hoarding rooms for herself and baby and BF. If she wants more than 50 of the house then she can offer you financial compensation for it there are multiple forms that could take or you could buy her out and she can scram. Not the asshole. And as much as it may suck, I would really recommend you sell the home and get your shares worth. She can't just change the terms of the agreement and declare ownership of more than half of the home. Natar. If I were you I'd look at uncoupling lives from your sister and ending the 50-50 living together. She has started using her child as a weapon to worsen your life. You don't want to live with her long term. Not the asshole. She doesn't get control of all the turf, this isn't the game risk where she can form alliances, 
pulley and bluff her way into territory, and throw the board at the end of the game if she doesn't win. She's not being reasonable, and if she's this unreasonable now, I suspect you are best to work out how to get out of the house and have her pay you for the pleasure of having it all to herself. It's highly unlikely to improve from here. Not the asshole. But this will only get worse when the baby you don't want around arrives. Sell the house. Split the profits. Go your separate ways and then hopefully you can retain a relationship with your sister. Not the asshole. Both your solutions are reasonable. One sibling gets the largest and smallest room, the other one gets the middle-sized rooms. You could also offer to let her buy you out. Not the asshole. 50 equal ownership is just that. It seems more than equitable that one gets the largest smallest room, the other the two mid-sized rooms, with all other spaces shared. She chose to give up her guest room when she created a being that will inhabit that space. Not the asshole you already gave her the larger room and she will probably keep baby nearby initially in a crib place next to her. She has become a bit entitled. Yes you have two rooms and you could potentially downside but she's not giving you a chance to rearrange or discuss things with you. If you want to continue to live here, you have to discuss everything or she can buy you out. Not the asshole. What next, you have to move out so the child can have a playroom. Sounds like she's trying to force you out. Sally Sap. This is only going to get worse from here. Get a real estate and bank appraisal, tell her to either refinance and buy out your 50, or you can both sell. If she refused you have the right to take her to court where a judge will force her to do the same. Not the asshole. She can either compromise and coexist as a respectful co-owner or you can force the sale of the house and you each walk away with your share to do what you will. Just because she's having a baby doesn't mean she gets more say in the decisions in the home or has a bigger share. She's basically commandeering three of the four bedrooms, while moving in her BF, adding the baby and then all the in-laws who will be oh so excited to have a room available to be around the baby. Not the asshole you're doing all the compromising here and your sister needs to do her fair share. The only other option is that she buys you out of your 50 share and you move out with enough for a deposit on your own place. Somehow I doubt sis will go for this as she seems to be the type that expects everything to go her way. Get yourselves 10 wives or husbands or cats or dogs and then say they each need their own space and cry as well if she refuses to agree to it. Clearly Natar. Not the asshole she should use the guest room, and if BF's family visit, they can get a hotel room. Lawyer or mediator, stat. This is a real estate issue. Your sister is looking to de facto take over the property via the boyfriend, baby, and his family visiting. Really, you need a lawyer. P.S. Good for you for suggesting the main bedroom swap that was smart AF. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your solution seems to be a reasonable one. Adding one child to the equation has upset the balance you had. Imagine the strife if another comes along. What would be better is for one of you to buy out the other's share of the house, or sell it and split the proceeds. Not the asshole. Time to sell. Not the asshole she doesn't get to change the living agreement because she got knocked up. She can either give up the guest room, keep the kid in her room, trade rooms with you or try and buy you out. Oh god this is gonna end up on TikTok, isn't it? Not the asshole. Nope. Tell her you're selling the house. She can buy you out or it goes on the open market. Or you can buy her out. She has no more right to it than you do and her boyfriend gets zero says. He should just be happy to be there. Natar but sell the house, your sister is playing games with you. It may take time but ultimately she will make you so miserable to be in that house as she will see you as an interloper who is living with her family. You all need to sell the house or she needs to buy you out. I wouldn't want to live with a pregnant asshole or her boyfriend or host his family or any of this. It's all her problem. Not the asshole. I'd want out before she gets married anyway. Not the asshole. 
it's time to buy her out or for her to buy you out, if neither of those can happen, then sell the house and you get fifty each. She is trying to take over the whole house and make you uncomfortable living there. Not the asshole. It seems pretty apparent that your sister and her BF feel entitled to the entire house, despite the fact you are a co-owner. I think the best thing you can do is tell your sister you want to sell the house, and the two of you can split the proceeds. Then she can live where and how she wants, and so can you. Offer her three options and only three options. 1. She can switch rooms with you too. She can use the guest room as the baby's room 3. She can buy you out of your share of the house and allow a reasonable amount of time for you to find a new place. If she's unable to do that immediately, she can set up a payment plan, and you'll move out after you've been paid in full. Option 3 would probably be best for you in the long run because she's going to continue this slow takeover of the entire house and try to make it so uncomfortable that you get frustrated and leave. Not the asshole. If she can't afford to buy you out, or you don't want to be bought out because you want to keep it as an investment, you could suggest to her that you move out and rent your 52 of the 4 bedrooms to a stranger. She might change her mind then. Not the asshole. She can't have it both ways. She's selfish. Your girlfriend is right she is an entitled little brat. You have four options in my eyes. X200B. 1. Cave and get eventually driven out cause the babies will need room. 2. Keep the status quo and make her suck it up. 3. Do as you said and acquire the master bedroom. 4. Move out lawyer up and get 50 value paid in cash. X200B. Edit not the asshole.